Hello, my friends. Welcome, all madmen, monsters, miscreants, and all freaks, creeps, and weirdos. I'm Michael Myers. What a week. What a week. I called it all week, though. I saw zero momentum in AMC. And it behaved exactly like that all week long. Busting down, falling through every level of support that the techno boneheads like Trey and TMI and all those other idiots go by. They don't realize that AMC does not behave like a normal stock. It is not going to trade on technicals or fundamentals. It's a momentum stock. And right now, there is no momentum in it. In fact, I don't much see a play in it unless something really starts turning around. Um, it just keeps going lower and lower and lower. And unless there's a ass load of cash sitting on the sideline waiting to jump on in, I see this thing just keep testing lower levels until we hit probably about 1350 or so. Yeah, nobody wants to hear that, but it's the truth. That's why I play straddles. I play four week out, six week out straddles. And right now, my put straddles are beautiful. I have one call straddle that is basically worthless that I bought at the beginning of the week. It's completely worthless. What stock falls 45% in like nine trading days? That is something to be concerned about. This is not normal. Stocks don't do that. Can you imagine Tesla going from a thousand dollars down to five hundred in nine days? No, it would not happen. There is zero buying into AMC. There is zero momentum, and right now Michael thinks I don't know about zero belief. I have seen no evidence of any short selling or chopping lately. They did it last week, but not this week. This has just been a constant, steady sell-off. And I look forward to continue next week. Unless a catalyst occurs that I have no idea about. You know, at this point, it doesn't... It really doesn't matter, and I don't really give a shit what movies AMC shows. For Christ's sake, they can show um, Troll 2, you know, on every screen they own. Which is, by the way, the best, worst movie in history. Find it. It's probably free on Tubi. Troll 2. It'll make your day. And I don't give a shit what they're showing or how much money they're making. All I know is their stock price continues to descend into the bowels of hell where Michael is probably going to end up. In fact, they probably have a suite down there waiting on me. GME looks so much more appealing. It was strong until the very last 30 minutes, and they chopped it down. That was good old-fashioned chopping and shorting there. They, they dropped it from 148 to 147 to 146, so they knocked the 148 and 147 calls out of the money. I expected it. Uh, I was surprised they stopped there. They were close to going down another level. But if you're looking for a miracle with AMC, you better get on your knees and pray and have a come to Jesus moment. Because there is zero interest, zero enthusiasm, and zero anything for it, which sucks for Michael. Don't think I'm an AMC hater. I'm an AMC lover. I got 200 shares that are going to shit. I was way up. Now I'm like, 
You know, who the hell knows? I'm thinking like even or down. So, I gotta make money. I have to make money. That's why I engage in the straddles um, strategy, which is buying a call and a put on the same expiration at the same strike. And I go four to six weeks out. And right now, AMC's showing no sign of turnaround. So the AMC call part of the straddle I bought is going to go to shit. Fortunately, I already sold one put on AMC. And I have another one that's four weeks out or so. So I'm hedged both ways. And that's the only way you can play these stocks. Is to hedge both ways. I have shares. I have puts. I have calls. And I also sell covered calls. Uh, right now, there's no reason not to sell covered calls. Th has AMC shown you any reason whatsoever in the last nine trading days that it's going up? No, it's going from 34 to 18 or whatever. And there's no, there's no level of support there, I'm telling you. I think maybe down to 13, 50 or so. Unless we just get an ass load, I'm talking ass load, of interest and buying pressure and volume. Without that, AMC's dead. It's just going to hover around like a dead fish. Maybe between 10 and $20 forever. Who knows? Well, Michael don't have that kind of time. He's got to make money. So that's why he plays both sides. So he made a little money on the put side, lost a ton on the call side, but hoping against hope that AMC will have a run up somehow on Monday. I don't see it. I don't know why they would, because not because some dumb any movies released. They could release the the original Godfather on every screen, and I wouldn't care because it doesn't matter what money they make. They are too too far in debt and have too too many shares GameStop on the other hand has no debt an NFT marketplace coming up a dividend stock split that could be a monstrosity of a catalyst and far fewer shares than AMC although they're going to get way above AMC after the split but I believe even if they split a 7 to 1, that GME will rebound because it has no debt. That's the key. If you want to make money, you got to swallow your pride. You're going to have to play both sides and hedge. Just like Kenny G, that cocksucker. Ooh, I'd love to stick a knife right in his back. Um... I'd probably be like, you know, suspect number one, two, and three on that. But anyway, you just got to use your head. You can't listen to your heart. You can't, and for God's sake, first, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment. And that would be just wonderful. Anyway... I wish you all well. I wish you happy hunting. Michael Myers. <laughs>